Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Sylvivan with Carrie. Back once again with a tarot card reading here for you. So happy to be here. I hope you have enjoyed the holiday season. I am ready for a new year and I hope you are too, Gemini. So let's go ahead and tune into your energy really quick. Just want to talk to you about these crystals I have over here because I feel like some of you may be wondering what they are. Some of you, of course, may know exactly what they are, but this is fluorite, okay? Uh, Gemini, I feel like this can be your stone because this is a stone of communication. Okay, you are all about communication, Gemini. And this is the air element stone as well, and you are an air sign. So I feel like you can really resonate with that. It's called fluorite. This is like a multicolor fluorite sphere. It's really heavy. It's very beautiful. I absolutely love it. I have it here for clear communication with you guys so I can get the best possible communication with spirit and so I can get the best possible communication to you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much. And if it's your first time here, hello. Okay, so my name is Carrie. And um, I will be using my new tarot deck, which is the Nightmare Before Christmas. I absolutely love it. I feel like it tells me like the shadow side of things, like the hidden things or, you know, subliminal read between the lines kind of things. And I will be using my, um, ooh, I like that card. My uh, Guidance from the Universe Oracle deck, my Black Moon Astrology cards, my Moon Moonology cards, and also my original tarot deck that I love to use, which is my Modern Witch tarot deck. Okay, if I feel like I need to, I will pull out cards from another um another deck here but overall gemini i am so ready to start your reading we're gonna see what's coming in around gemini what's your love situation i feel like gemini's always have a love situation going on so and gemini we're gonna tune into your love situation we're gonna tune into your person into your energy into your future into um january and the beginning of january especially what's around the corner i like to do short-term readings that way we get a clear um clear um, understanding of what's coming in around us. So first I'm going to pull out your oracle card, Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Cross watchers are, of course, welcome because, you know, we've all done that a couple of times. So let's go ahead and tune into Gemini's energy, okay? What's coming up around Gemini? How are they ending their year? And how are they beginning their year? Okay, Two cards for Gemini there. Black Moon Oracle deck. Let's go ahead and figure out what's coming up around Gemini. Okay, who's Gemini dealing with? Whoa, two cards fell out there. I'll go ahead and take... Actually, it was just one. I'll take it and I'll pull out one more for you. Gemini. Actually, I'm going to pile those on top of each other because I don't think I'm going to have room with my tarot deck as you can see my table's kind of small <laughs> but let's go ahead and pull out two oracle decks here for gemini sun moon rising venus beautiful okay gems let's get started i want to tell i want to tune in to your energy first okay how's gemini feeling gemini is releasing stress okay oh being a little more patient here or maybe you're being a little impatient i see forward movement towards something or someone here okay but i don't feel like you're in you're in your energy at the moment gemini hold on though let's this is just the beginning i do suggest that if you came across my reading and you clicked on it and you're here listen through to the end gemini because i feel like there can be some things that you pick up on towards the middle or the end of the reading and then if you don't feel like none of the, none, none of the reading excuse me resonated with you then maybe you should tune into your moon sign or your um one of your other signs your rising sign okay so gemini sun moon rising how's gemini feeling i do feel wow gemini so i get a strong i get a strong a strong I get a strength, okay? I feel like you're you're hmm you're you're being very hmm I feel like like part of you is being very patient and you have like this beautiful inner strength within you and you have like this hmm this inner strength that helps you keep moving forward and it's like you're your own best friend. It's like it's like Gemini, it's like both of these people here are you. Even though this can represent one person and this 
this another person this is like the leo you're trying to tame you may be literally trying to tame a leo i don't know but for some of you i feel like this can also represent just you taming yourself in some type of way and you helping yourself out moving into um clearer waters or just out of the murky um feels okay out of your own feels i feel like i feel like this has been something that's been bothering you for a while your own feelings are you getting yourself in your own way okay but i do feel like you're guarded in some sense and like you're protected or you're being overprotected of yourself i feel like this is you wanting to come out like this lion energy right because gemini's do have two sides to them literally so i feel like part of you wants to come out but you have the other side of you which tames you Okay, not saying this is bad, not saying this is good. I'm not being biased to either side. I just, I'm just reading the cards here, gems. So this is beautiful energy either way because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling your energy because at the end of the day, I feel like you're your own best friend. Okay, you can't go wrong with that, right? But for some of you, you may have somebody else helping you out here like, you know, your best friend, a family member, or there's something you're trying to move away from. This can be a Leo for some of you, okay? Something you're, you're maybe there's, there's clear waters now that you came, you, you were being really impatient or you were being patient with something and then something came to light and then now you can see clearly and so you're like moving away from maybe this person, okay? This person can represent a Leo or somebody who's very um, strong or... I don't know, the strength card represents a strong Leo. Of course, you see the lion. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and tune into what else is coming up around you. If this is somebody you're dealing with, okay, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love, please. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love. Lots of cards came up here. You may be dealing with a Virgo, some of you. Okay. I did see the Ace of Pentacles. I'm not going to take it though. This person may be moving forward to you or maybe you're just going to have an offer of some kind. But for some of you, uh, Geminis, since this is a reading for you, I wanted this to be a love reading, but I'm getting a lot of your energy, a very strong energy from you, Gemini. And what I'm getting from you is um, I feel like you've gone through like a spiritual awakening or just you're just keeping to yourself in order to find who you are, to keep that peace within you. You're, you're coming very, very strong in through here. I do want to get into your love situation, but let me go ahead and see if I can find anything out. But I do sense uh, a Virgo in around you, okay? For some of you, this may be an earth sign coming in around you or that you that you have an earth sign, earth sign around you, okay? So let's go ahead and pull out a couple more cards here. We get the tower card. Yeah, I feel like some of you have just gone through this tower moment or will be going through something. Okay, maybe this tower moment was brought on by this empress. Okay, or someone who's very beautiful. This may be a Leo for some of you or they. this may just be someone who represents this energy. Okay, okay. this empress energy. Someone who's very loving, who knows who they are. Their self-worth is there. It's like... Uh, it's like somebody you were kind of head over heels with but you look kind of sad here i don't know what happened i feel like for some of you there was clarity that was brought to light and you kind of saw um clear waters and then it gave you like this this tower moment this maybe maybe you're going through this now gemini for some of you okay i feel like there was something that was brought to light that you kind of didn't like very much okay this has to do with some kind of communication for sure because you get the sword. Swords are all about communication and and um, the mental, right? So maybe there was some, there's mental clarity now, okay? There's a lot of mental clarity now. This person may also be acting a little bit, um, uh, how do you put it? Maybe this person is acting a little bit standoffish or very protective of their own selves, whoever you're dealing with, or this may just be your energy and I may be tuning into your other person's energy gemini but what i do see here is like these sharp things around her i feel like this person and, and she looks a little bit serious even though she's very beautiful i feel like she's a little bit serious and maybe this person has been a little bit cold towards you because these are like icicles and i'm getting and i'm also getting the same vibe from this card i feel like this person may be standoffish okay or maybe a little uh, cold even though she's the empress you know what i mean even though she's maybe this person when you communicated with them they were very um, this may just be divine masculine as well. Okay, so this may be a, a guy you're dealing with who may, may have been very sweet to you or a woman who may have been very sweet to you. But at the same time, 
was also kind of standoffish and this kind of made you really um retreat <sighs> okay gemini let's go ahead and see what else is in here for you though because i feel like this there's a lot more to this a lot more so i need clarification on this four of swords in reverse the six of swords in reverse and the strength card please clarification for these we got the queen of cups so it may be a strong um they may have a strong cancer sign but yes i feel like this person um was a little bit cold towards you or you feel like they were you may be feeling like they're really cold towards you and like they may not be into you the nine of presents in reverse so yeah i feel like this is something they weren't giving like they usually are or they're just not giving like they usually are or this may be your energy but i don't know ace of candles so someone came forward okay i see passion here i feel like there's a new uh a new beginning in passion or there's some something something's lit here some something sparked okay so something something came to light that's just what i'm getting from this card even though this card represents passion a new passionate beginning you're longing for something like sorry not longing for something but you're just kind of like you've lit this candle okay or something has been lit within within you okay this strength this strength or maybe this is this person's energy uh gemini but what i'm feeling is that there's like a spark of hope too something like that so let's go ahead and turn into this hermit energy please who's this hermit energy about someone's keeping to themselves for sure because they're going through like a spiritual enlightenment spiritual awakening but you're coming out as a queen for sure if that's if that's what you're resonating with i mean there's a lot of energies here that i just try to tune into and sometimes i just um so this this is definitely have to, okay this person i feel like walked out of your life okay this person walked out of your life and it has you kind of really really just thinking and looking within like what's going on kind of thing you know you get the ten of swords okay this is something that has really weighed you down in the past okay for some of you this person walked out of your life this person may have been very beautiful and they kind of just it was like just too much to handle like maybe they weren't putting in enough effort for some of you or or you guys were putting in more effort than this person even though this person comes out as very very beautiful i feel like some of you just didn't really want to put in that much work and and it's all for a good reason right maybe they weren't putting in enough work and, and someone was left out in the cold here for sure okay it's like this empress was actually this queen of cups so can i get clarification for this empress card and then the Queen of Cups represents someone who's very loving, but when it's in the reverse, it's like an ice queen or someone who cut you off or someone who wasn't loving or giving and who was just kind of like rude or, or mean or did some something that really hurt your emotions. Okay, um, so for this one, I get the Page of Potions. So this could have been someone young who, who kind of gave you gave you a little bit of love okay this this imprint was actually even though they were very beautiful they could have also been this person who gave you like a little bit of love not too much and kind of just um had you in your feelings or came forward through with an offer but it's like they were blindly moving into this and they didn't know what they were getting this themselves into because at the end of the day i feel like there was a lot of passion in between you two gemini but at the end of the day i feel like they weren't ready for this passion they were going to give you okay that's just the energy i'm picking up on i know it's like all over the place but like i said there's different people here so i'm trying to touch upon other energies here so let's see one more card here <laughs> oh we got the wheel of fortune wow i'm loving this right now i'm really loving this and i and i really know i really want to know what this is about because i feel like there's a change of fate or a change of heart and i don't know if it's this this person because i was looking at this card when i pulled this out this may be with this person so this may be continued or this may be just a change of fate completely okay i feel like maybe there's a change of heart completely for you gemini i feel like you're changing your whole direction of, about where you want to go for some of you you may be changing your mind completely from this person or this person may be changing their mind towards you we're gonna find out what's this wheel of fortune about please 
Am I still recording? Yep. All right. So, Gemini. What's this? What's this Wheel of Fortune, please? Oh, okay. Here we go. So, we get the um, Eight of Candles. So, there's something quick. Something very quick is changing here. And with the Wheel of Fortune and this Eight of Candles, this is one of the fastest cards in the deck. So, there's something quick that's going to come to you, okay? And fire moves very quick. Not as fast as air, but it still moves pretty quickly and fire is always passion so some something's gonna change here okay it's almost like this ace of candles is gonna turn into this eight of candles like this and this may be like in eight days eight weeks or i i feel like eight weeks would be too long maybe in eight days i don't know maybe at the beginning of the year because we get the ace of candles so maybe around january first week of january or so but let's go ahead and get another clarification for this <clears throat> Wow, a reunion. The Three of Cups. Do you see this? This is the Three of Cups. This is a reunion. This is a celebration. This is you coming together with somebody. So either this is the same person that, okay, this may represent a water sign, um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But what I do see here, Domini, is that this person is going to come back around. It's like they're going to regret what they did. They're going to regret leaving you because if they did leave you, they're going to come back around quickly is what i'm hearing quickly and this is like around the beginning of the year it's like they're gonna it's like things are gonna click for them and they're gonna be like oh my god what did i do it's like it's almost like that kind of vibe so let me go ahead and get one more card because this is too juicy to just leave it here you guys so and i know your reading is getting kind of long but i really um i really like your reading so let's go ahead and see so we get the um the chariot in reversed. Wow. Okay. Let me tune into this really quick. So the chariot in reversed is like I feel like this person is not going to want to be single anymore. That's just what I got. Okay? Um if if you were talking to somebody and something happened where you guys, you know, you guys had a lot of passion or something started and then ended kind of kind of quick. Not too quick, but kind of quick. Um, I feel like this person is going to come back around, okay, Gemini? So that's just your love reading. Let's go ahead and tune into this energy. <clears throat> you get caution. Keep your guard up. So if this person comes back around, I feel like you need to teach them a lesson. I feel like you need to teach them that you're worth more than what they did to you. See these ugly presents? I feel like they didn't treat you very well. I feel like they could have gave you better presents, okay? Or they could have treated you a little bit better, Gemini. So I feel like you need to keep your guard up. I feel like you need to make them work for what you are worth. If you're worth a certain, a certain level, at a certain level, Gemini, I feel like you need to make this person work for what you're actually worth, okay? This is all about work. The, the spider, all she does is work all day, okay, Gemini? Spider works and works and works to get this web. So I feel like if you are a hard worker and you, like, work to have what you what you have um, work to have what you have whatever um i feel like you need to make this person work okay keep your guard up okay stay on your toes about this person because if somebody rushes in and out like that it's like are they really worth it you know and some of you may be declining this person when they come back around because you're gonna you're gonna realize like wait a minute like why didn't you want me before like what happened what changed and why did it change so fast i feel like you're gonna have a lot of emotions towards this air element some of you may be dealing with the air sign or this is just you coming through but there is gonna there is gonna be communication okay and i feel like this is a strong communication from this person and you get void of course moon missing Okay, this is someone that went missing on you, for sure. Someone that kind of just disappeared, or you're just going to go missing on them kind of thing. You're not going to be... I feel like you're not going to want this energy. Some of you, I mean, it's going to be up to you, right, Gemini? And then we get have faith in your dreams. Whatever it is you, you're working on, have faith in, in what it is you want in life. And then nothing will come of this situation. Again, we get a strong void of course moon. So like I said, Gemini, stay on your toes. If this person comes back around and you feel like they're not worth it, because this queen of cups, I don't know. And then um, the spider presence, I feel like if they're kind of shitty or they were kind of shitty to you in the past or they treated you some type of way that you didn't like or they made you stress out a lot, Gemini, I feel like you need to keep your guard up for sure. It's in the cards, but I feel like this is probably some of the best advice I've got and some of the most, uh, I don't know, this reading is very clear here. But you're getting nothing will come of the situation. At the end of the day, Gemini, you're going to do whatever you want. 
But if this person comes back around, I feel like nothing will come of this situation. And then you get, again, Void of Course Moon twice here in this reading, okay? So, Gemini, that is all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed your reading, and I, ho I hope I brought clarity. At the end of the day, you're going to do what you want. I'm just here to guide you, and I hope I can help you at all. But you know what? For you, I'm going to pull out one more card to see if there's any anything else we can we can clarify, okay? What's this person... Uh, what's Gemini's person? What's their bond here? I feel like this one popped out. So I'm going to take it. We get flirt. Okay. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like this person is going to come through and try to flirt very soon. Okay. So Gemini, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next year. Bye. Happy New Year.